The material system in Messiah is something that I see a lot of people get hung up on, especially lightwave users. And why that is is that there's a distinct difference between the two packages and how it handles materials versus surfaces. Here in Lightwave, you go to when you want to change the color of a particular surface, you click on the surface editor and you make adjustments directly onto the surface itself. So each surface has properties. In Messiah, the surface itself is just a group of polygons. So here it is the red stripe smoothing surface. I can, if I wish, remove that material and apply a different material. Here I've created a new one and I'll call it Billy's new surface. I'm going to make it something unique so that it stands out. Bright yellow. Oh wait, that's not unique. Purple. Purple is unique. So there is my Billy's new surface and I can apply that surface to apply this new material that I've made to this surface. There we go. I could also apply it to this one. And I can remove the old yellow material. My old yellow material is still there, but I, in my list here, with this little red X to show you that it's not applied to anything, but I have applied two surfaces with um, the same material on two surfaces. In Lightwave you're not, cap it's, you're not able to do that. In my surface editor, if I want to make this surface red, I have to copy the properties of this surface and paste them into this one. If I would like to edit the luminosity on all my red items that I have um, want red, I have to do it on each one consecutively. I can't just make an adjustment on one material and have it work on all the surfaces that have been that have that material applied. So now here see, see I've made some changes. I've made the yellow stripe red and I've made the red stripe uh, have a 50% luminosity. So here I'm going to save this object. So these are the surfaces surface properties in Lightwave that I have adjusted. So back in Messiah, a Lightwave thinker would think, well I have made those adjustments to my surface, so I would expect when I load up this model, those adjustments will be, um, oops, sorry, I'm going to replace those adjustments will be made, but they are not. And the reason is because Messiah knew that you had these old materials applied to these surface names. And even though you made changes in Lightwave Modeler, those changes will not be reflected in Messiah because there were already materials made in here. So once you have imported your model into Messiah, you need to edit your materials in Messiah. You cannot go back to Lightwave and make tweaks and import it without having to start over. It's frustrating at first, but believe me, it's a superior system due to its power. I can, I can double up um, materials and combine them in different ways. Here I've multiplied yellow with red, and theoretically I should get an orange if I'd, if I'd thought about it. Um, and and you can create libraries of materials in a tray and and it's a a system of working that is actually common throughout all most 3D packages except for Lightwave. Now another thing that people get hung up on is when two objects are created that have the exact same surface name or imported. Now Messiah tries its very best to match a surface name with a material name. So here I've created a new particle and in that particle I have a material called particle surface. 
Now I can apply my new surface to that and now I have my particle when it's rendered will have Billy's new surface and this old particle surface here isn't used anymore it's got the red X I can still edit it and do things to it so here I'm gonna make it pink but it's not going to be rend it's not used in anything because it's not applied to any surface so now when I want to create a another particle oops another particle it creates a new surface named particle surface and so Messiah logically thinks well you have named this surface the same as this material so therefore I'm going to apply particle surface to this new surface that you've created so again if I create yet another one it won't create a new material for you it's just going to assume because it's got the same name that you wanted these two to be the same all you have to do is remove the old and apply what you were wanting and expecting um, yeah I believe that's that, you know one of the, why is it like this well Messiah works differently for example one of the things you can do is create an entire new render group and put everything in your scene in this render group so all my particles all my objects everything and I have decided that everything in my scene should be tinted slightly green now when I render everything is well it's a bad example because nothing was white and you can't see the, uh, let's see additive see everything's tinted slightly green and that's done because materials are separate to surfaces. Um, I hope that's kind of demonstrated to you the difference and uh, if you have any questions please let me know so that I can make an addendum and we can all get this sorted out.